You know when you sit and read the signs of Qiyamah, when you sit and read the signs of Qiyamah, you need to remember, we don't want to become statistics. What do I mean? You know we are closer to the end of time. If the Prophet Muhammad says, He showed his two fingers and he said, I have been sent myself and the end of time. The hour as close as these two fingers. He is the last Nabi. What's remaining after him? Qiyamah. We are getting close. Read the prophecies. What is going to happen towards the end of time? There are some good things. There are a lot of bad things. Do we want to be on the side of the bad things? So let's change our lives. You achieve nothing, nothing. You leave behind nothing. When you commit that which is in transgression of Allah. Let's learn to build the lives of people. Be a good person and empower others. Look at others as your own children, your own brothers, your own sisters. I bleed in my heart when I read the hadith that says a mu'min should be towards other mu'mineen as one body. If the finger is paining, the whole body is restless. If the eye is sore, the whole body is restless. Today when the eye is sore, we say, Alhamdulillah, they deserve it. One of your brothers is suffering somewhere, you say, yeah, good, good to him. He's, he, it's good. In fact, those who are not suffering, we go to them and make them suffer. And we call ourselves Ummah to Muhammad. La ilaha illallah. How many of us are making the lives of others difficult? What do you think is going to happen to you on the day of judgment? How many of us go out and we create havoc in the lives of others? What legacy are you leaving? What are you thinking you are going to achieve? And you are teaching others to follow that example. So my brothers and sisters, it's about time we became people who are upright. And there is an element of uprightness in us as mu'mineen. We need to expand, build on it. And we need to ensure that we have tried our best to leave behind that which is in the pleasure of Allah. Our children should be clearly, clearly from among those who have had a good upbringing. You can see it straight. When you see youngsters, the minute they greet you, you can tell this man comes from a good home. Am I right? You can see the discipline, the character, the akhlaq. But others, subhanallah, if you look at their fathers, some of them are good. They've never spent time with their children. So the children are unruly. Why? Let's work on this by the will of Allah.